Hi guys! In the previous tutorial, we have learned how to put together different basic shapes to build objects in 3D. The next step would be learning on how we can customize these shapes. To do that, we will be using the object's vertices, edges, and faces. So let's get started. So first, I'm going to go to my front view. Okay, first let's import our reference photo in Maya. So I'm going to go to view image plane then click on import image and then I'm gonna look for our bottle reference photo so it's in my desktop as you can see click and open now you can see we we have now imported our reference photo of our bottle let's take a look on what shape we may start with to build this in 3d looking from our reference photo the shape of the bottle somewhat resembles the shape of a polygon cylinder but if you look closely at the bottle, the cylindrical shape of the bottle then tapers to a smaller radius at the top part. And also at the very top part, as you can see, the very top part, we can also see that there are more deformations that need to be done to build the bottle. So let's create a polygon cylinder. So I'm going to press F to uh, frame our view. I'm going to go to create. Polygon primitive cylinder. Okay, so I will just use the scale tool to size this up. And then I'm just going to move this to a line. And then I'm going to use the scale tool again. But this time I will deform it uh, in the y axis. I will place my cursor at the green box and then left click and drag. My mouse okay and then I will just move this down adjust it more a little bit okay so after that let's add divisions to our bottle so to add divisions to our bottle um, make sure you're in polygons interface mode Go to Edit Mesh, then under Edit Mesh, click on Insert Edge Loop 2. Okay, so let's add uh, seven divisions. So one division would be at the before the bottle starts to taper, and then one division will be at the where the bottle tapers up, and then maybe one extra division here because the bottle sort of uh, curves out and then I'm gonna go back okay and then here at the top part of our bottle I'm just gonna click where the um, detail starts and then encapsulate it with another cut and then lastly um, I'm just gonna click here to take care of that deformation Okay, so let's start selecting vertices. So I'm going to hold right click to go back to our object mode. Okay, and then I'm just going to hide our grid so that we can see the vertices a little bit better. So you can go to display and then uncheck on the grid. Okay, now let's select... Uh, the vertices of our cylinder so I'm gonna start with uh, this one here I'm gonna hold right click on my mouse and then select vertex and then I'm gonna go to the selection tool and then I'm gonna click and drag to select this group of vertices here so if I select this group of vertices here if I go to my perspective you can see that I am also selecting the vertices at the back of our cylinder so make sure you're also selecting the vertices at the back. Otherwise, you will have weird deformations for your bottle. So let's go back to our front view. Okay, now uh, let's scale this down according to our reference photo. So uh, to scale this down, uh, I will use the center box of our scale manipulator tool. So I'm going to place my cursor here and then left click and drag to adjust the shape. Okay, so after that, let's select the other group of vertices above. So I'm going to go to the selection tool again. 
I'm going to click drag and select these set of vertices here. I'm going to select the scale tool and then place my cursor at the middle box again. Left click and then drag at my mouse to scale this down. Okay, and then let's also select these vertices at the top. So I'm going to start with, uh, let's select all of them first. So let's just click and drag and then click on the scale tool. Click on the middle box and then left click and drag. Okay, so be careful not to make the vertices too small. Alright, so I think that's enough. And then I will just uh, move again the set of vertices up because uh, the vertices are sort of offset from our reference photo. So I'm going to click on the move tool and then I will just move this up. And then the set of vertices here, I will move it down so that we can see we can follow the deformations from here. And then these set of vertices here. I will just move them down and these vertices here let's just move this down all right so after that let's start uh, deforming our object I will just select the vertices at the top so I'm gonna click drag select it and then I will just reduce the radius so I'm gonna place my cursor at the middle box again and then left click and drag to scale this down okay next uh, I think we're going to need to add a few more divisions. So we're going to add divisions here at the middle, the same as for uh, the set of vertices at the top. So let's go to Edit Mesh again, and then Insert Edge Loop Tool. Click, drag uh, a division here and a division here. Okay. Now let's go back to the Selection Tool to exit. And then let's hold, right click again at our object and then select vertex. So let's select these group of vertices here. And then let's click on the scale tool, scale this up. Let's select this, these set of vertices here and then scale this up. Okay, now. Uh, let's take a look at our object in the perspective view. So let's press 5 on your keyboard. See, uh, to open up the bottle, let's just delete the faces at the top. Okay, so in your perspective view, go to the view of your bottle at the top and then select your object again. Right click, select face. Okay, now. Uh, select the faces at the top, click and drag one face, and then hold shift to add another face. And then I'm just going to click and drag again. You can click and drag uh, your mouse to have a bigger selection so that you could select more faces. Alright. After selecting your faces, make sure that it's the only faces that you selected. So if you would rotate around make sure that you're not selecting uh, any faces at the back to subtract a selection just hold on control and then click drag okay now all your faces are selected go to edit and then delete now this deletes your faces at the top of your bottle. And that concludes our lesson on manipulating components. You can continue on with our current tutorial by trying to create whole new scenes. So as you can see, I duplicated our bottle object uh, several times and then uh, rotated some and moved them to compose a whole new scene for maybe a soda commercial. Later on, we can start learning about rendering our objects like the image you see to your left.